everyone. So today I decided to do the best beauty products of 2010. I was going to do a December favorites, but then I just decided that it wouldn't make much sense because a lot of these products would be in my December favorites anyway. And I just thought it would be cool to show you guys the products that I've been loving all throughout the year and which products I really consider like my favorites. So um, I'm really excited to do this video. I've been loving watching other people's videos about this and um, so yeah, I'm excited to do my own, and I hope you guys enjoy. I want to make a little note, though. In my last video, my lighting was, like, seriously awful, like, more so than usual. And I figured out that one of my light bulbs is burned out, like, for my, up there, the top one. And so, it was just really bad. And so, I put another little lamp in front of me, so I hope it's not, like, too bright. It might be a little bit different, but just bear with me. Um, but anyways... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get into my favorite products. So the first one is my favorite primer. My favorite primer that I found is Smashbox Photo Finish Light. And I have been using this probably over a year. Um, I think this is like my third or fourth one of these. And I absolutely love it. It is the light version because I do have oily skin. And it just makes my face feel so good when I'm about to put on my foundation. And... Um, I have tried a lot of other primers. I've tried a Sephora one. I've tried Clinique ones. Um, I tried a Laura Mercier one, and I just, I haven't liked any of them. This one makes my skin feel the best, so I'm going to continue to use that. But I have been using it, you know, for over a year, so it's still stuck with me for that amount of time. And then goes my favorite foundation. Um, so this is MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I found this, like, right before school started, so about in August. And I've been wearing it ever since. Um, sometimes I switch it up and use my Revlon Color Stay, but for the majority, I have been using this almost every day. And I have kind of acne-prone skin, so I need full coverage to um, kind of give that flawless look to my skin since I don't have that naturally. Um, so this foundation really helps a lot with that. And it has SPF 15, so that's always great. You know, when you go outside, you need that. Um, I am the color NW20, in case you were wondering. I don't know, I have good things to say about this, so I would definitely recommend it. I do know some people don't like this foundation because they say it breaks them out, but honestly, I've never had a problem with that from this foundation, so I will continue to use this. Okay, and then my favorite concealer. This is MAC Studio Finish Concealer, so it comes in a little pot like this. And I have used quite a bit of this. I got this at the same time I got the foundation, which was in August, right before school started. Again, I'm the color NW20. And this concealer is really good, again, for if you have blemishes. Um, it covers them really nicely. It's kind of a thicker coverage. Um, you can use this under your eyes if you want to, but I do know some people that do. But I find that it's a little bit too thick for that, so, um, you know... Actually, someone on here told me if you mix it with a little bit of moisturizer, then that works better. So, sometimes if I will use it like that. But for the most part, I love this for covering blemishes, and it's great. Um, and it's fairly inexpensive for a nice concealer, so that was good. And then, I'm, I use a lot of MAC face products, um, just because I kind of bought these all the same day, and I had the girl put them on me, and I really liked how they all work together, so that's why I have a lot of that. But this is my powder. It's a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And I am the color Light Medium. So here's what it looks like. I have used a lot. I like this powder because it gives just a really natural finish. I like it better than like a loose powder or translucent powder. I would use something with a little bit more coverage if I could. But overall, you know, this is good and it doesn't make you look too cakey. And it's just a really flawless finish. So I like this one a lot. Okay, and then for bronzer, I always use NARS Laguna Bronzer, um, which looks like this. This is like my third or fourth one of these, so I have been using it for a while. And um, another bronzer that I really do like is Benefits Hula Bronzer. I actually have it at school, but it crushed up into like a million little pieces, so that's when I went ahead and got another one of these, and I fell in love with it again. And um, the thing that I did like about Hoola Bronzer, though, was that it didn't have a lot of shimmer in it. Actually, I don't think it had, like, any shimmer in it. So, it's a lot better for contouring. 
But this bronzer is very, very good for, you know, all over, like if you just want to get a natural glow. And I like it a lot in the summer, so I have to use a uh, light hand in the winter so that it's not, like, too dark. But it's definitely the perfect color of bronzer. It's not too orange or anything like that. So it's really, really good. And I know a lot of other beauty gurus use it too. So it's a good product. And then my favorite blush is from MAC. Again, I really love MAC products. Um, this one is in Dame. So this is my most worn blush. I wouldn't say that I wear this every single day. Because I do like to switch up my blushes, you know... It depends on, like, what I'm wearing or, you know, what I'm in the mood for. But if I had the choice to choose just one, I would choose Dame. Um, just because it's a subtle, you know, neutral pink and it can go with anything. And it's just very natural looking. So, um, it's not too shimmery either. It's a satin, so that's always good. Especially if you have oily skin, that's always good. So, I like this one a lot. Okay, so that was all for my face products. That is honestly what I use like every single day. And I have been using all of these products for a while, so they are definitely my favorites. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to eye products. So before I ever put eyeshadow on or anything, I always start with a primer, which you should. Um, and, you know, I've tried like Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've tried MAC Paint Pots. But I always come back to loving the Too Faced Shadow Insurance the best. And I, to me, they kind of all work the same. They all keep your eyeshadows on. They all keep them from creasing. And they all do a great job. But this one, I think the thing that gets me the most is the packaging. Because um, compared to the Urban Decay Primer Potion, you know, you have to kind of dig in with that little wand. And you can't always get a lot of product out. Whereas this one, you squeeze it out. And, you know, if it's all the way back here, you can, like, squeeze it through and get a lot more product out. And I just feel like that's more worth the money than... The other one, if they change the packaging of the other one, then I, they'd kind of be the same to me, but this one wins because of the packaging. So I like that, and it really does a great job of keeping your eyeshadows on, um, so that's good. Okay, now choosing a favorite like eyeshadow would be really, really hard for me. My all-time favorite eyeshadow, which I will show you, it is from MAC, and it is called Woodwinked. And I've used a ton of this. I need to get a new one very, very soon. Um, it's just a really, really pretty brown. It's kind of golden -y and it's perfect for everyday wear. It's not too dark or anything, so I love it a lot, and I do wear this a ton. But recently I found myself using a whole palette, which is kind of easier, you know, for traveling, or just if you want to not grab so many eyeshadows out and try to figure out what you're wearing. This has just made it really easy. So this is Urban Decay's Naked Palette, which looks like this. And this was a pain in the butt to find, you guys. It really was. Um, if some of you know, I did a review on it, but um, they came out with it, and then it, like, sold out. And then they would keep putting it up sporadically on different websites. and then So you kind of had to grab it while you could, and it was just really annoying to try to find it. But actually recently, I think they just put it up on Sephora's website again, if I'm not mistaken. I did see it on there. I don't know if it's on there today, but you might as well try and see if it is if you really want it. Um, but these are what the colors look like. There are three, there are 12 eyeshadows, so they look like this. And I've just been getting a lot of use out of this because, you know, there are so many different combinations and different colors. And they're all very wearable for everyday wear, so that's great. Um, I have really gotten a lot of use out of this. My favorite colors, and I'm actually wearing them today on my eyes. I love using this color, Sin, on my lid. And then I put Toasted in the crease with Hustle in the outer V. And then I highlight with Virgin. So um, that's been one of my favorite combinations recently. It also comes with these little eyeliners in black, or this one's black, and brown. So that's good. So this palette is just really, really, um, it's really useful. Okay, my favorite eyeliner is from MAC, and it is just a black pencil liner. And it is in the color Feline, which um, this eyeliner has been, it's come out with different collections here and there. I think it's actually on MAC's website right now again. I do need to pick up another one. But I've just bought so much makeup recently that I, I haven't really been able to purchase it yet. 
but I would like to before this one runs out because I've had this one for a while and I'm surprised I still have so much of it left, which is great, but I would like a backup just in case because it is my favorite. Um, it's just a very, very dark black, which I like. Um, I feel like it really defines my eyes good. But also, like, I don't like liquid liners. I don't like gel liners. I'm really, really picky with eyeliner. I think some people look great with liquid liner, you know, on their upper lash line or something. But for me, I don't know. I just feel like I look good with it on my waterline, and that's pretty much it. So I do like using pencil because of that. And this one is just a gorgeous black, so that's why I like that. And you may be thinking, like, well, it's just black. Like, can't you get a black eyeliner anywhere? But this one is just such a rich black that you have no idea. Like, if you haven't tried that, you need to. <laughs> okay, and then my favorite mascara is actually from the drugstore, which is great. Um, drugstore mascaras are always wonderful, in my opinion. Um, I hardly ever spend money on high-end mascaras. I don't actually think I ever have. The only high-end mascara that I have, well, sometimes I get Clinique, but... That's still kind of affordable for me because sometimes you can find like $12 mascaras at the drugstore and I think Clinique's are only like $14 or something. Um, but I do own one Bare Essentials like Buxom Lash Mascara or something, but that was just a sample so I didn't even have to pay for that. But anyways, this one is Maybelline Falsies and I just found this a couple months ago maybe um, and I really, really like it. It's really unique because the brush is like curved really cool and it just makes your lashes so big and so long um, it's supposed to make them look like false lashes and I think it really, really does a good job so I've been loving that okay I'm almost done so bear with me um, this is my favorite lip gloss and it is MAC <laughs> if you can't tell I absolutely love my MAC products but um I think I got this one at the same time that I got like my foundation and concealer and powder and all that. Um, so over the summer. And this is Bow Luster Glass. And it kind of looks weird because normally, you know, for lip glasses, people usually have like pinks or like neutral colors. And this is kind of like more of a brown color. But it doesn't come off that bad. Um, I am wearing it now. It probably has come off though a little bit. So I'll apply some more so you can see it. a little bit but it's not bad at all you would think it'd be a lot darker but it's not um I just think it's really pretty like in the fall and winter time and I'm sure it'll look great in the summer too um I just like it with my skin color and my hair color and everything I just think it brings my looks together and yeah so I've been loving that um that is all of my makeup products but then I'm going to talk about one perfume and then one hair product and then I will be done so my favorite perfume of 2010. Um, I actually got a new perfume for Christmas from my boyfriend, which is now my current favorite, but it is 2011, so this doesn't count for this video. But of 2010, this one has been my favorite, and it is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Now, I got this for Christmas of 2009, and then I used it all the way up until I got my new one, basically. And it, it still smells amazing. It is one of my favorites, but I really like the new one as well. If you were wondering, it is the um, Coach Poppy, so I like that one a lot now. But I still love this one. It's just very light and clean smelling, and it just re reminds me of the beach, kind of. So that has been my favorite for sure. Um, okay, and then my hair product. This is the last thing. This is the Redken Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion. Um, it's number two. And... I've been using this probably for a year now, maybe a little bit more. Um, I use this before I blow dry my hair. I just kind of put it from here to the ends, and it just kind of protects it from the heat. Since I don't really straighten my hair much anymore, but I still I need to use a blow dryer every day, otherwise my hair will be really frizzy. So since I do blow dry it every day, I need to protect it. So that's why I use that product because it really helps to um, keep it from damaging and stuff like that. So it's really good. So those were all of my products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to do one of your own, you can post it as a video response, because I would love to see what your favorite products are, and maybe I could get some ideas of, you know, what I can pick up from the store next and try out. So thank you guys so much for watching. 2010 has been a great year for me, and I just appreciate all of you, you know, for watching my videos and subscribing. 
And I hope that in 2011, well, not, I don't hope, but I, I know that I will be making a lot more videos. So I hope you guys can stick with me through the next year. And um, I'm just really excited for what is to come. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.